Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm gonna take you through the process of outlining your lettering in Procreate. So first up, we need some lettering. Shameless plug here, I'm using my Freestyler pack of brushes. This one's called Riptide, but you can use any brush you want. It doesn't have to be from that. Okay, once you've drawn the lettering, you're gonna go up to the layers panel and duplicate this one by swiping to the left and clicking duplicate. Highlight the bottom one, we're gonna change this to the color we want the outline to be. So for this example, we're gonna select black and then we're gonna tap on the layers, uh, the thumbnail of the layer and select alpha lock, tap again, select fill layer, tap again and turn alpha lock off. Now go to the adjustments panel, this little magic wand icon and click Gaussian blur and layer. When you start to slide your pencil across the screen, you'll see a little blue bar appear at the top there and the percentage of blurring it's making, and you can see it blur there. We wanna take it somewhere between sort of seven and 10. This determines how how wide, how thick the um, outline is gonna be. So for this one, I'm gonna be about 10. Once you've done that, you go to the S icon, which is the selection tool. tool. And as default, it will say freehand, we wanna turn it on automatic and tap on the lettering and any elements that are not joined to the main bit of lettering. So they all become white. And then we wanna adjust the threshold. So it includes the blurry bit around the outside. And we do that by tapping and dragging and we see the threshold change there. And we wanna go right up to the other end. If you can't get there, we just let go and then tap and drag again. And that's it. If you find other elements not selecting, you can tap on that as well. And then we want to go just far enough that it doesn't select the whole background. So once we've got that selected, we're going to tap on the option that says color fill, and that's going to fill our selection and give us that outline we're after. So that's how you outline. I'm just going to take it a few steps further and create a 3D with a shadow. And also something that you need to look at is that if you're going to print this out, um, if you zoom in, you'll see that it's slightly jaggedy around the edges there compared to the smoothness of the original lettering. Um, because this is a workaround, that's just part of the thing problem that, that happens. And so you just need to get a, um, a smooth brush like a studio pen or monoline brush and just go around smoothing that out. It'll be fine for social media posts, but if you're thinking of printing out, then yeah, it'd be good to go around and just get rid of that jaggedy edge. Okay, so go up to the layers panel, swipe to the left and duplicate that black layer and do that one more time. The black layer at the bottom is gonna be the shadow, so we're just gonna turn that off for the minute while we do the 3D element. So select the layer above that, and then what we're gonna do is go for the uh, transform tool and make sure that snapping is turned on so it keeps the 45 degree. So we're gonna drag that down to the left. This determines how thick the three part is gonna be. And then select on the arrow tool to deselect. Then grabbing our brush again, I'm just using the one called Broken Arrow, but you can use the Studio Pen again. We're gonna fill in these elements here. We're gonna join those two corners of the two parts and fill in those little triangle bits. And we're gonna go around the whole of the lettering, just filling in those and joining those edges. With that done, open up the layers panel again and turn on the bottom layer. Tap on the N icon, which is the opacity. We're gonna reduce that down to about 25% and then change the blending option to multiply in case you've got multiple colors going on in the background. This will help give it a consistent shadow. Tap on the uh, transform tool again and we're gonna, the light source is coming this time from the top left hand corner. And we're gonna drag it down to the bottom right and let go, turn off the transform. And then we're gonna go grab the brush again and then we're gonna do the similar thing uh, to what we did do and just make these joins smooth between the edge of the black layer and that shadow layer there. This shouldn't take too long because you don't see too many of those because of where the shadow is. Now, once you've done that, we're just going to add a little bit of a highlight to it. 
So layer panel, select the top one and press the plus icon for a new layer. Select white and then on the opacity of the layer by pressing the N icon, we're gonna get select overlay. We'll just soften the highlights a bit. And then we're gonna, cause the light source is coming from the top right here. We're gonna just draw some lines on the top left hand corner of all the bits of lettering. Don't have to be too neat, just adds a bit more interest to it. And there we are, we're all done. There you go guys, I hope you found that useful. Please leave any questions you've got in the comment section below. Otherwise, I will see you in the next video.